All right, um, 365 days of horsemanship, day 15. Um, yeah, a nice, um, a nice, calm, chilled out day today. Um, yeah, I feel like kind of put some money in the proverbial bank account, um, which was nice. Um, yeah, I kind of came up, obviously I'd had a very good day yesterday. Um, and so I came up today and I kind of just wanted to have a more relaxed attitude um, to the plan for the day and just kind of leave it a little bit more loose um, rather than being so, so certain of what I wanted to happen. Um, so I got the halter and I went to see Mia um, and actually it was nice because I called, I called her and she did actually come, she was on the hay and she did come down the feet of the hill kind of like sort of about halfway. Um, but she didn't come down the whole way and I went and met her and I was feeling quite optimistic about being able to halter her straight away because she'd, you know, because she'd come. But, but um, then she was eating the grass um, and so I kind of decided to go with more of the freedom based training stuff um rather than being more active and kind of like pushing her into a dominant game to like get her to come with me um because i had done that the previous day and i think that definitely there's a place for being able to do more and more of that um and it that being okay um but i think i just kind of like really want to take it slow and, and just keep that good energy and not um trip myself up by getting kind of too goal orientated um because that's very easy for me and that's happened before um yeah and actually it was interesting the so the grass obsession has been an ongoing problem and it's something that i just really i just really think is unhealthy for her you know i mean obviously it would be nice if she was not so obsessed with the grass because then it means that i can come and i can distract her more easily but more than anything else you know it's like she doesn't think about anything you know there's such a high threshold of stuff that you can do that she just I mean you know I've tried walking and walking and walking and walking and walking and she's like whatever you know I have to push on her pretty hard you know to get her to to even just like acknowledge you know it's like the it's almost like the more you try to distract her the more determined she becomes to be focused um and so I kind of played around a little bit with with rocking the hind quarters and the fore quarters on both sides, um, and that was going quite nicely. I would definitely say that that's improving. I would definitely say there's my two percent improvement for the day today. Um, yeah, it definitely feels more soft. We're not really getting that like resistance, and we're not getting the no like it used to be like a no. Like I would start rocking and she would like leave. Um, whereas now it's not like that. Now it's definitely um definitely getting softer so that's really nice but you know none of the rocking that I was doing was really distracting her she did look up at me initially when I came up but then after that she was like right on the grass um and so I was kind of trying to find a way that I could cause her to change her focus um that was passive um, like, can I do something that's my own choice, that's not directly pressuring her, that will cause her to feel just uncomfortable enough to change her focus from the grass? Um, and actually, the only thing I found was if I stood right in front of her. And if I stood right in front of her, she kind of actually looked up pretty much straight away and changed her focus. And then we walked together to the hay. And that was a really nice walk because she acknowledged me a couple of times and you know i think overall it does feel like we're still progressively all the time getting more and more comfortable um like she's just more and more comfortable with me being there happy with me being in her space which is actually you know a big thing for her she really doesn't really like anyone in her space that is definitely a huge thing with the horses in the herd that she just needs a she has a huge bubble to feel safe um, and so for her to feel better about me being in that bubble is, I think, a good thing. Um, so, yeah, so then she was eating at the hay and it was interesting because there's definitely, there was definitely more focus changes when she was at the hay. And I have seen her before where she's been very obsessive there. Um, but today it definitely felt like she was just, it was less time between 
munching and looking at something and then munching and looking over here and munching and looking over there and because she was changing focus much more i did i kind of stopped doing the rocking and things like i kind of said to myself like i just want to i just want to rock her into changing her focus you know um i want to just do enough that she just changes focus and then that's that's where the flow is right but it was nice at the hay it was really lots of like lots of focus changes it wasn't you know as nice as i would want it to be but it was a big improvement um, and so I waited for a good moment. I'd had a couple where she'd looked and, you know, she looked around at me or whatever and I could have left. And so I waited for the next one. Um, and I put myself in the right position as well. I saw that she was looking over her right shoulder a lot. So then I went and put myself at her right shoulder, um, so that then I could cause a moment where she could connect with me. And then I could say that's, a, that's the best moment I'm leaving. Um, and it was a really nice one actually. Like, like she turned and the eyes were half closed and the ears were relaxed and just, you know, touched her nose to my hand and, it just really felt that feeling that she was just happy that I was there, that it was nice that I was there. Um, and that was really great because definitely, you know, again, it's that positive experience, right? She came, she had a positive experience. Um, we were both working well within our bandwidth, which is great. And we didn't really push that too much today. Um, but I think I probably pushed, pushed my learning a little bit. Um, and I it definitely built some confidence today feeling like my, what I'm doing with the freedom based training is getting more dynamic, which is good. Um, rather than just kind of being in flow constantly, um, being able to ask more questions. Um, and I'm not really sure where the boundary for that is. I'm not really sure how much I should or can be doing. Um, but Elsa's coming at the end of the month, um, which I'm really excited about. So I'm going to ask her all these questions then. Um, and just be like, you know, this is where I'm at. This is what I'm doing. These are what my goals are. Like, is this freedom-based training? Like, like, should I be doing it differently? Or, yeah, advice, I think, really. Um, and I think definitely I'm excited to get her opinion on the grass thing and get some great strategies just to kind of help her to change that focus a little bit more. Because I think that's going to help her in her life so much. I think that's going to be a real life-changing thing for Mia when... She just feels like the grass is less of a priority um, and she can she can be feel comfortable when she's doing other things. Um, I think that would be really good. Um, yeah, so that was a really nice session. And then I went to see Lawrence and that was a more active session as well than what I would normally do with him. And I was kind of inspired by the session I'd had with Mia. Um, Lawrence and I have a different goal path. You know, Mia's young. Um, young-ish um and yeah and she I want to get her fit and I want to ride her and I want us to be able to go and do clinics and have fun and and challenge ourselves and go and cut cows and you know go and jump little show jumps at a local show and go cross country and you go on a sponsored ride and you know all of these things I want to do and and I want us to do them together and go and see the world and have no experiences and push our boundaries um and so that's the kind of horse I want to build and so I'm building this relationship with the goals of being able to you know get in the arena and play at liberty and maybe you know be able to perform that one day I don't know see where that goes um I, ha I don't know the world is our oyster you know um and I'm really guided by what she ends up seeming to enjoy um like where her enjoyment is because for me I think I'll go anywhere and do anything you know I'm pretty easy going um I'll find my little niche with her and we'll go and do that um whereas Lawrence you know he's 20 he's an old man you know so his whole life is different um and my goals with him are very different too um and my my limits are very different like with Mia with Mia I guess I'm I'm happy to stretch the elastic band more and push that bandwidth and 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 ask her to provide for my needs a little bit more and and show her that that can be okay and that she can trust me and that it can be a good experience whereas with with Lawrence I, I kind of because of the life that he's had and because of who he is um I have a lower threshold for how much dominance I, I want to allow it with him because he's so submissive and he's so obedient um and and it's so I mean it's beyond easy to make him do things you know he just does things because 
that's just how he's programmed um and so for for me with him it's like i kind of have this real resistance to doing anything with him that i feel like he doesn't want to do um which boils us down to the like most tiniest amount of stuff like ever and i and, and i you know I take him out for walks and, you know, he doesn't really want to come, but I make him come because, you know, I want him to have that fitness and, you know, once the, once the weather is better, I, I will start, you know, bringing him up more and doing the arena stuff and, and just more like physiotherapy style, um, joint mobility, just keeping that sort of core musculature and, and joint health basically. Um, but I don't want to only be able to play with him, you know, when the weather's good enough for him to not be wearing a rug, you know, when it's cold, he just hates it. Um, and so I just kind of want to find that stuff that I can do with him that's within his bandwidth, because it turns out actually his bandwidth for being able to do things and also feel like he can communicate is like really tiny. Um, whereas Mia's much more dominant. She's not afraid to show you how she feels, even if you might tell her off for it. So in some ways she's kind of easier because she's more expressive. And it's easier to open that conversation with her. Whereas Lawrence is not that expressive at all. Um, and so, yeah. So for today for kind of the first time in a long time, um, I, I kind of did the same pattern I did with Mia where I was just pushing on the hind quarters, pushing on the fore quarters. He's much more interactive and he enjoys my company much more. Um, and I think that once I get it with him, I think the progress will be much quicker. And I think our sessions in the field are going to be considerably more progressive faster than than with Mia interestingly because I think it would just take her that little bit longer to build that relationship with me whereas Lawrence and I already have the relationship um but yeah it it was a good session it was good to do it and to feel it and to have that confidence that it was okay um and I put the halter on as well um and then took it off again and that was powerful because he kind of didn't want it on to begin with. And then we got to a place where he was like, yes, okay, I'll put it on. And then we had it on for a bit and we felt okay about it. And then I took it off again and we felt okay about it. And we had a little lick and chew. And that was a good moment. And, I, you know, I could have left it there, but I, I did want to do a little bit more. And so I played a little bit around um, the rocking, but I didn't really get that much out of him. Um, and I did leave on the end just on his acknowledgement of me being there. Um... But I think that's, I think that was good because he didn't feel the need to be obedient to it. He felt that he could just ignore it. Um, so we'll see how that kind of goes. Um, that's another thing that I'm definitely really keen to speak to Elsa about. Um, and just use that time with her to just sharpen up my timing with both of them. Um, and just get to that place where I'm influencing their behaviors in in the ways that i i want to i'm catching those good moments to to just accelerate things um yeah so i'm excited for that that's going to be really good um and overall it was a good day put some money in the bank account um i tomorrow is a day where i'm gonna take them out for a walk unless something you know other unless something else happens and they really don't want to go and it doesn't go the way i planned the plan is that i will take them both out for a for a walk um so i kind of wasn't too worried today if i didn't you know get her up um i would have done if it had been nice um it would have been nice to get her up and play but it, you know it's fine um we're gonna go out tomorrow um and maybe play in the arena on sunday um so yeah i think that'll be good um, so looking forward to it